Hey guys, it's me, Terry X. So as you can see, in today's video, it's all about my own personal dislike hate characters from all Life is Strange game. Also, here is now a spoiler warning for, of course, all games. And if you like this video, please give them a like or leave a comment if you see it like I do or if you have different opinions. And now I really wish you have fun and now we start. So as you can see here I have a picture of Sarah Gearhart. I think most or maybe some of you will now say why Sarah. Um, I honestly I watched and played Before the Storm, you know it's my favorite game. But I really hate Sarah because also of the things she did with drugs and choose the money over seeing Rachel and here I know there's always two sides of the story but also I know that most of the Life is Strange fandom really hate James for what he did and of course it's not okay what he did and how he did it but for me I think totally I think Sarah is just a bad person and also if you want to see it this way um, is how Rachel became how she became in you know the first Life is Strange um, my reason I don't like Sarah is just, you know, she takes drugs and she don't want to see Rachel and then she took the money from James and just don't want to see Rachel and then 15 or 16 years later she says, yeah, now, now I want to see my daughter and I want to be a better mother but, you know, it's all fine for me but also I really can't just ignore the fact that we see her, we saw her that she came out from Frank, Frank's RV and you know what did she do? Did she buy drugs or you know of course you can say yeah she was just in Frank's RV that maybe because of the Damon thing and the James thing that he treated her and things like that but you know for me this is not really a reason and also in episode 3 of Before the Storm when Damon drugs her and then she's totally like this full conversation with Chloe and she's like no I don't really want to see her and Chloe then totally tries to convince her hey Rachel needs you, she miss you and you know you can say of course it's because of the drugs or it ever happened there but you know I think deep inside of Sarah she really don't want to see her daughter and I think at point of her also accept that what James said or did was maybe right, also Sarah said that in episode 3 give him, give her, sorry, give her the father she deserves and not me and I mean Chloe tried so so many ways that that, 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 that she convinced Sarah that, that, that she, that, oh my god I just I really hate this person, I know a lot will hate me now but you know I just don't like Sarah and I see it, you know, you can see it as you want, but for me, Sarah is one of the big reasons Rachel became this person in the first game. I just don't like her, I totally think, yeah, you can give her a chance, but for me, I just don't like her, I'm sorry. I just don't like her, I think she's not really a good mother, I totally think, yeah, I just don't like her, it's all I have to say. I know a lot of you will see this different, but... I just don't like her, I don't like the things she did, I know everyone deserves a second chance, but yeah, I just don't like her, I'm sorry, I just don't like her, so yeah. Now we go to the next one. So here we have Elliot Hampton, also Chloe's ex or whatever, you know? <laughs> And I think we all agree that we all hate him. I mean, I hate him so much because he's just, you know, in some point, I don't want to say anything against, but I think in some points he acts like Max. When it's about Rachel, this jealousy, what I think is so unnecessary. And I just don't like Elliot. And I also think that people here in this fandom have to stop compare Elliot with Warren because these two are so different. I mean Warren is, yeah he looked Max one time but not, and you all say yeah he's a creep but you know I think Elliot is much more of a creep. I mean he followed Chloe from the hospital and I totally think that he knows so much more of Chloe 
what Chloe don't even know. I mean, we, we saw it, we hear it, and also how he talks and how he attacks Chloe in episode 3 and before the storm. And I really was like, I hate you, man. I hate you. Stop it. Don't do this. I mean, I never liked him from the beginning, but just his actions, I mean, it's just... Don't say Warren is a creep, because he is no creep. Warren is... Just a guy who is in love with Max, yeah, Elliot is also a guy who loves Chloe, but I mean, it's so obviously that Chloe don't want anything from him anymore. I mean, she even wrote this in her journal, and yeah, I mean, Elliot, bro, you, you totally know, just know, you're done with here, with us, with Chloe. Just accept it. I mean, yeah, I really hate Elliot. I mean, who don't hate Elliot? I don't know. Do you like Elliot? I don't. I hate him. I don't like him. And please, I, I like Warren, but please guys stop comparing these two guys because, yeah, Warren is a sweet nerd. And Elliot is just a creep, jealous, totally give Rachel any thought. Any reason why Chloe is how she is, he says Rachel is the reason, but no, it's not. Chloe did this on her own. But yeah, I just don't like Elliot. I think he's just a jealous boy who blame kind of everyone else. I mean, yeah, I just don't like Elliot. So the next one. Of course he is on this list. Of course, why not? I mean, he has to be on this list. Mr. Jefferson, our favorite teacher. No, not really. Yeah, okay, he's hot. Yes, he's hot, but he's a hella creep. And Mark Jefferson is just, I mean, I mean, who, who likes this man? <laughs> I hate him. I mean, he killed Rachel, he killed Chloe, he killed so much girls, and the best part, I will not defend Nathan here, but I really hate it when people in this franchise say, yeah, Nathan did kill Rachel, Nathan did kill Chloe. Yes, I don't excuse his actions here, but Nathan is very, very physical and very mental illness. She ha he has that. We saw that so often in the game and of course it's not okay what he did i mean of course it's not okay he should chloe because we all love chloe i hope <laughs> and mark just manipulated nathan please guys just think about it how he acts with him how he said this to max in episode five in the dark room this weird father son thing and i think it's so clear that jefferson just used nathan i mean he even said this jefferson just used nathan that he can build this hella creepy bunker that he get the money that he get the stuff that he get the drugs i mean he all said this basically to max and he is just an awful person and I don't want to talk here about him and Rachel because you know I'm, I'm a press shipper but I mean also I think at some point I know that he manipulated all the girls I mean you also saw it with Kate I mean Kate was his assistant and some weeks later she wants to kill herself and Jefferson is also a reason for it I mean he is the reason for it she was also in the dark room and even he said to Max, yeah, maybe I will visit her again in the hospital if you saved, that you saved Kate in episode two. I mean, this is just a psychopath, this man. I mean, honestly, I'm a DC fan. I love Joker. I love psychopaths, but I love not this psychopath here. But yeah, he's just a psychopath. He's not a good human, but I'm also honestly here Sometimes I wish we get a game, a DLC, or even a comic why Jefferson became the, the way he is because I really found this interesting why a man like him does stuff like that and how he became this man. I totally, I think, I think that's so interesting. 
please don't nod or dead nine or square enix if you see this maybe we can get something right he is the man we know in this game because i really would find this very interesting why he became i mean maybe he also was a victim of a dark room or i don't know you know we don't know that but i think there is a reason why he, why he became this man and i totally think it's i think it's just interesting but yeah Definitely number one hate character here, Mark Jefferson, because he killed my queen, Rachel Amber. And no, Nathan did not kill Rachel. Please guys, I want to say this here. Like I said, Nathan was manipulated by Jefferson. I mean, even the Chloe death, we see how Jefferson shot Chloe. And even the Chloe death, and we know at this point, Nathan was dead. And even then, Jefferson wanted to blame Nathan for the whole thing and no, you know, please guys think a little bit Jefferson killed all these girls. He killed Rachel. He can say Yeah, Nathan did it, but he did not. He just made Nathan believe that he did it because we know how Yeah, psychisch, psychical, psychisch illness Nathan is so of course he can say, yeah, you, my son, you killed her. But no, Jefferson is the one who killed Rachel, who killed Chloe, who even want to kill Kate. So please think about that. And yeah, now the next one. So here are the next ones. I know that a lot will now already while writing comments but let me explain the problem i have here with karen reynolds and choice price aka madsen it's i am completely in a middle thing because on the other hand i understand at least their reasons but on the other hand i totally think they are a kind of terrible mothers so i start here now with choice so you know i I love Choice, I really love Choice and I totally understand that she tries that their family, that she wants that her family came together with Chloe and David and all that stuff, but I also want to say why I don't dislike Choice, I mean I don't hate her completely like I hate Jefferson or Elliot, but I just dislike her in some actions she have done, has done. I mean, I will start here with Before the Storm, I mean, Chloe is totally not okay, Chloe has no one and the only thing Joyce does is, yeah, I'm dating now a new man and I really don't care what my daughter is, my daughter is totally not in a good way, but I don't be here for her and I wanna go and date a new man. And this is just a thing, I really, I'm, I'm Joyce, I really wanna love you, but this is totally not okay, I mean, I know that she lost her daughter, I know that she lost her family, but just like some actions like with this, I totally can say I don't love and trust Joyce 100%. Or even in Life is Strange, when whatever you choose with Max and Chloe get the slap from David, I mean, yeah, all Joyce says, yeah, David um, got his da da da. But um, yeah, Chloe was, it was her fault, you know, always is Chloe's fault. And I mean, Chloe is our precious baby, what deserves so much better. And you know, this is also a thing, I mean, of course, Chloe's attitude is sometimes not the best, but you know, Chloe gone, bring, gone through so much. And David is also not a really helpful thing in this thing, and then choice. And then they have an argument in oh man, or even in Before the Storm in episode two. I mean Choice don't know to help her. I mean he he she sorry, she says this basically to Chloe, I don't know how to deal with you anymore. So now David has to move in and that's just the wrong thing. I mean Chloe needs her mom. I mean she even said that and Choice is like, I don't care, David is here. He you are his problem, like kind of and I really like choice. I want to love you, but these are just things I'm very, very, yeah, I'm totally in the middle thing here. Because on the other hand, you know, I really like choice and I know that she wants just the best for her family, but on the other side here, sometimes it just show it and, and her actions, what she does, and it's just so 
terrible way where I'm like, ah, choice, no. And yeah, that's the choice. And now to Karen Reynolds, Karen Diaz. I mean, you know, I'm totally also in the middle thing because I can't understand. Yeah, she wants to be free. She wants her own life. I mean, in her parents, where she grew up, it was also not so good. But, you know, I'm just totally... Yeah, I mean, I can understand, but on the other hand, you know, she already got one child. It was, I think, eight years old, and then she got Daniel. And after Daniel, I think he was two or three, not 100% sure. And then, he said, and then she said, no, I don't like this life, but she already got one kid. She could totally said after this one kid, hey, no, that's not my life, but she got a second one, and then she ran away. And, you know, I, I, I just, no, you know, it's some kind of a Sarah thing, but also a lot in this fandom said, but for me, it's just, I just don't understand. I mean, if you have a married life and, and like she talked to Sean in episode fear of uh, Forge, oh, sorry, in Love Strange 2, I mean, Karen. <laughs> Like with choice, Karen, I can understand you, but some of your actions about, you know, one thing I really, this is a very, very huge um, plus point for Karen, she tries at least, she tries that she will make it up to their sons, by the way, uh, how she treats son and that she will rescue Daniel from this cult and, you know, that's a very big plus point and also in episode 5, I mean, you totally see that she really tried that she can connect it with their son, with their sons. And this is a really plus point for me, for Karen. But just note again, I don't hate or dislike, I don't hate these characters, but I just think, especially here in Joyce's case, that she could have done something so much better and this is why they're on this list. I mean, I don't fully hate them, but I also don't fully like them, like I just said. So that's why they are on this list. And now we go on to some, yeah, not honorable names, but yeah, we move now on. Here we have Sean Prescott. Um, just a quick reminder for you guys here now the next few minutes I will not take so long like I did before These are just some honorable names for me. So just that you guys know that so Sean Prescott, I think Sean Prescott is just a um, peep peep Yeah, he is a um, peep peep. I mean how he dressed his son and, and what he did with Nathan and also kind of a little choice parallel here I mean, does he really care about his son? I mean, of course, Joyce cares more, uh, more um, of Chloe, but Sean, Sean Prescott really, yeah, I don't care. You have your money and, you know, I just don't care. You're just this rich son and, you know, Sean Prescott is just a peep peep here for me. I mean, we also saw this, saw this in Before the Storm, how he acts with his son and I totally think if kind of really a similarity here of choice if he would help Nathan a lot more before then a lot of stuff wouldn't happen in Life is Strange so that's all I say to him. Director Ray Wells is also on this list, yeah, because I think he's also a peep peep. I mean all what he cares is about money and totally also how he, how he acts with Chloe, I mean I totally think if William was alive and Chloe would not be this rebel girl, Wells totally still would just be just a peep peep to Chloe and just call her, um, kick her out of school. And you know, Wells is just also, I don't like him. I mean, all he cares about is money and that the school is, yeah, looks good and whatever is going on, he really don't care. Yeah, I just don't like him. Here we have Jamin Merrick. 
Yeah, I totally, honestly, I don't think Damon Merrick is a bad guy. Yeah, maybe I have a thing for bad guys, but I totally think that Damon, yeah, of course, he might, he, he drugged Tara and, but I also think that James didn't really know what he did when he hired Damon and I totally think that James would not um, would not like that Sarah is dead. I think just that James um, won't um, threaten her, but not that Damon dosed her. And I totally think that this all came up with episode 3 just in Damon's mind because Chloe and Rachel asked for Sarah and he totally, ah, oh, this beep, 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 this beep, beep. And yeah, I you know, of course, what Damon did and what we saw in his files is totally not okay, but I still think, yeah, he, I think just the whole Sarah thing in episode three was not fully James' fault, but just some of Damon's own behavior, own, yeah, I just kill her because she's just a problem for my business. And even Chloe and Rachel ask for her. So yeah, this is all what I have to say for Damon. Now we come to our favorite Rotex Club sheeps. I love to call them that. Here we have Victoria, um, Courtney, and Taylor. And you know, I don't hate Victoria. She's just a peep. She is just a peep peep. That's it. But you know, the whole group is just a peep. They are just some girls who want. I don't know. They are just. You know some kind of mean girls for me but I still don't like them I don't like their behavior I don't like their acting I don't like how Victoria is always so bitchy over to Chloe and also I mean she <laughs> tried to drug Rachel and you know guys Rachel is not the only one who drugged Victoria just here a little shout out also Victoria tried to drug Rachel so yeah Victoria Victoria, Victoria, but you know, I just don't like, I just don't like their group, I mean, even how they act with Max and yeah, they are just these typical peep schools, girls, so that's why they're on this list because I don't like them. I mean, I don't like, I, I don't like, hate, sorry, I don't hate Victoria fully, but I just don't like her either, I just don't like the Vortex Club, so that was it. So here we have the neighbor of Sean. Welcome in the Love is Strange 2 universe. Yeah, of course. I mean, I just don't like him because he's just also a peep who um, was mean to Sean and Daniel. I mean, hello, Daniel is a nine year old little guy who just wants to play and he is just a dickhead. And yeah, I think we all agree he is also just a very, very disliked person. The next one here is Officer Matthews. I mean, of course, this is also like a two-sided thing for me here. On the other hand, of course, I don't like him because his action was totally, yeah, not really okay what he did. But he also was a very new one police officer, what we see in episode two. But, you know, still, I mean, you know it happened, but I still don't like him. He killed Sean and Daniel's dad, and yeah, he's also not a really likable person. Now we have some real Americans here, Hank, and um, I don't know how she is called again. Just we call her Mrs. Stamper, Hank and Mrs. Stamper. Yeah. I mean, we all know what they did to Sean and Daniel. I mean, it's totally not okay to attack a 16 and 9 year old brother pair. And also they lock Sean in and want to hand them over the police. And I mean, even too, um, she was at the beginning of the game in episode one, when you first meet her, yeah, I was like, yeah, okay, she's nice. But then of course <laughs> everything revealed and yeah, oh, no, no, she's not so nice anymore. So I mean, because of what they did, and if you played Love is Strange 2, you know what they did, so that's why I don't like them and why they're on this list. So here we have Cassidy. I know that a lot 
of people will now disagree with me but I just don't I really I really hate Cassidy I really dislike her I mean sorry for all Cassidy stands here but what did she what did she I mean she just was mad at Sean when you refused that you will sleep with her and I mean she pushed him three times in episode three and he still says no and see what the girl now I'm super pissed off you I mean guys come on and also I mean how she is with Daniel I mean he she he on, she only cares about um, Sean and I mean <laughs> She don't really care about Daniel, just like two times she says, yeah, he's just a child, but all he wants, is, she, sorry, all she wants is to have, yeah, you know, beep beep with Sean, and I'm, I'm really, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I just don't like Cassidy. For me, she's just annoying, and yeah, I, I just don't like her. I'm sorry to all you Cassidy stands, but I hate her, I don't like her, I just think that she just wants, you know, to get in the bed with Sean, nothing else. I mean, she is just a very not likable character for me. And yeah, I just I, I just don't like her. This is all I have to say. I, I really, really don't like her. I'm sorry, but for me, she's just annoying. And yeah, I, I just don't like her. Also, yeah, I'm sorry. I just don't like her. So now we are in Westlands and here we have Meryl and Big Joe, I mean, of course they are not a kind of drug gangsters, they have a farm, so of course they are what they are, but I still don't like them because, you know, they also wanna hurt Daniel and I mean, guys, come on, he's nine years old and yeah, you know, same with Stamper. If you played Life is Strange 2, you know what they did, you know why they're on that list. I hate them, I don't like them. So, that's it. So, here we have these two pretty boys who beat up Shen nearly to death. Sean, sorry. Who beat Sean up nearly to death. These two, I don't even know their names, you know, I don't care about these. I mean, they're just awful and just awful pee peeps. And yeah, again, if you played Life is Strange 2, you know what they did, you know better on that list, so you can go now. So, we are now in the cult, yay. So here we have Lisbeth Fisher and whatever this dude's cult name, I don't know it right now, I'm sorry. But you know, the thing here is, and I also say this to all Life is Strange 2 fans right now, Please don't be so awful to Daniel. I mean, hello, this woman here manipulate him. He was nine, ten years old, and you all, but oh, Daniel is such a peep peep. And, then, and, then. and I'm like, guys, come on, he's nine years old. He thought he killed his brother. And then this little peep peep here showed up. And yeah, you know, I just don't like Lisbeth. I don't, she manipulate. Sorry talk sorry she mani manipulated Daniel and some of you act oh god Daniel is such a brat I hate him and I'm like um, guys he's nine years old and he was he is he was mani manipulated by this woman over here here so please have some thinking and some respect for Daniel I mean he was also in a not very good state and I mean we saw in episode for how much how much love and how much joy he had when he saw when he saw Sean again, and you know this two is totally just awful and how he hit Sean and uh, I just don't like them. The last one for today is Maddie. We all know her from episode five of Life is Strange two, and yeah. What can I say to Maddie and his father, her father? Just, just leave my precious wolf boys alone, okay? They just want to go through the border and have the life. But no, you have to shoot Daniel and yeah, make that Sean get catch by the cops. Yeah, again, if you played Life is Strange 2, you know. So guys, this was it for today's video. 
um, if you like it like I said leave a comment leave a like and share this video I don't know um, I also planning on make um, this video just with my fave character so thank you very much I hope you enjoyed it and we see us by the next video bye